Chevrolet's fifth generation Camaro was quite the showstopper when it was reintroduced in 2010. So how do you improve on such a successful car? Well today I'm at the 2015 LA Auto Show checking out the fully redesigned 2016 Chevrolet Camaro. Now one thing that made the previous generation Camaro such a success was its show car design. You can see with this all new sixth generation, the company's playing it a little bit safe and taking the successful design of the last generation model and kind of making it a little bit more elevated, a little bit more upscale. The front end has a very, very Camaro look. It's slightly updated with the redesigned he uh, headlights, the updated front bumper, the updated hood. It, overall, it still will remind you of a Camaro, but um, the entire design certainly looks uh, modern and thoroughly upscale. Now, the platform underneath the Camaro has switched over, and that's basically the biggest change. Last year's Zeta platform has been replaced with the Alpha platform, and that's the same platform that underpins the excellent Cadillac ATS. Now, under the hood of the new Camaro, you do have uh, updated engines. The two-liter turbocharged engine is now standard. That makes 275 horsepower. The mid-level 3.6 is Chevy's new 3.6 direct injection that makes 335 horsepower. Now, I'm standing next to the SS model. This basically has the same engine from the current C7 Stingray Corvette, a 6.2 liter direct injection engine with 455 horsepower. Now that updated power is basically uh, complemented by less weight. This new Camaro is about two inches shorter, uh, to, uh, an inch uh, narrower, uh, and two inches shorter in the wheelbase as well. That translates to a 200 pound weight reduction, which makes the Camaro uh, a much quicker car than its uh, current rival, the Ford Mustang. Now the new Camaro is just rolling into dealer showrooms as we speak, but you can see it's already won Motor Trend's coveted Car of the Year Award for 2016. Now one area that I wanna talk about really quickly, the previous Camaro had a pretty puny trunk. It, it was the smallest in the muscle car class, in fact. So how does this new Camaro stand up in the trunk? As you can see, it's still a pretty small opening. Chevy pretty much um, went with overall design versus packaging. Of course, you're not gonna buy a muscle car like this uh, to haul your groceries, but in case you need to, you may wanna consider the Mustang or the Challenger. But overall, the design of the Camaro's rear end is definitely very clean. I like it a lot more versus the refreshed models of last year's generation. You can see the SS model, you'll be able to differentiate it from the badge in the back and then the quad exhaust pipes. All the other lower trim Camaros uh, will just have a single uh, dual outlet exhaust. Now the interior of the previous generation Camaro wasn't exactly its strongest suit. Uh, the ergonomics were pretty crummy, the interior materials were a little plasticky, and you couldn't see out of the damn thing. So for this new generation, Chevy has pretty much addressed most of the concerns. Uh, my favorite feature is definitely this new steering wheel, the flat bottom design, the thick rimmed uh, leather wrapped wheel. It feels good in your hands, and the overall look of the car certainly still has kind of that show car looks of the exterior, but Chevy's kind of fixed a lot of the aerodynamics. You have the latest version of Chevrolet MyLink, uh, you have very large uh, vents, and then good knobs, good labeled buttons in here kind of just to help you um, use this car on an everyday basis. Now in terms of the interior, interior materials, uh, Chevy added some soft touch surfaces where, where it counts, where your elbows are going to rest, it's soft touch there. Some elements of the dashboard has some soft touch materials, and the seats that I'm sitting in are, are quite well bolstered, they're pretty comfortable, and uh, one thing that Chevy did improve is the overall interior uh, feel. This feels a little bit wider and more spacious than the previous model, however those of you who weren't really quite fond of the cocoon cave-like feel are still going to find that in the Camaro, but for some of you that may be actually part of the whole muscle car experience. For Redline Reviews at the 2015 LA Auto Show, I'm Sophie Andre.